Okay guys, um, this is going to be the video for the Witoken theme setup. Um, now, it does involve a, uh, SSH. Um, it's a little bit more advanced. It's not just, you know, check off winterboard and that's it. There's a lot of icons to be moved around. Um, it involves eye blank categories. So if you want to give it a shot, go for it. Um, it's not hard. It just takes a while to set up. Um, but once you set up, it's totally worth it. So basically this is if you haven't already seen my other video this is what the theme looks like um, you've got your large icon here that you can click on and then you've got the actual folder there with everything else in it um, and then the most recent your most recent apps on the side there and uh, your nice dock at the bottom so and you can also scroll through pages like this so basically to for starters I will uncheck mine so you can see what it looks like um, just let it respring there guys Well, while this is loading, you guys can go ahead and open up Cydia and get that loaded because there's going to be a couple things here that we need to download. Okay. So, this is what your springboards just disregard this for now. Um, Cydia. You're going to want to... Hold on. Alright, so you need to download a couple things here. So you're going to go into the search menu and and you're going to hit the search button. First thing you're going to want to download is blank null. So I'm just, you guys can search it. I'm just going to show you what it is. Under B, there it is right there blank null. That's the first one. I'll post everything in the description that you need to download so if you don't catch it on the video just take a look under more info. Um, second thing you need to download is categories right here. You don't have to add any sources for this guys. It's all just straight out of the, uh, the normal ones. Um, after that you need to download five iros no GUI. So under F, five iros, or sorry, five iros GUI. Um, so um, after that, you will need five column springboard. So there it is, five column springboard. Um, next thing you need is I blank, which is right here, I blank. Um, and the last thing you need is spring jumps. Okay. And this will probably run into another one or two videos, guys. So just stay posted. I'll have to make one after the other. Next thing you need is right there, spring jumps. Okay. So after you install all of those, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go into um, categories. So... you're gonna click once you install categories it's gonna be this icon right here categories you're gonna click on that and you're going to go to manage folders you're going to type edit add type in a new category say it's um, the first one you need you needed to make four categories you need to make home media apps and games so type in home and then it's going to ask you to select an icon. Doesn't matter what icon you can select. Apps, games, home, media. Um, the icon is going to be overwritten anyway, so it doesn't matter what one you use, just pick one. So after you install that, uh, you guys will have to respring and just get rid of that. Um, second thing you need, or next on the list would be to, inst um, you're going to have the spring jumps. So 
basically you're going to go into spring jumps first you're going to go into um, settings actually you're going to go down to uh, actually sorry guys you're going to go into the five eye rows there should be a five eye rows icon here right there five eye rows you're going to click that make sure five eye rows is on hide spring dots are on and status bar padding is off and then respring so make sure you have that checked off second thing you need to do is go into spring jumps and enable page 0 to 4 so enable page 0 1 2 3 sorry not 0 to 4 0 to 3 enable 0 1 2 3 and then turn off 4 5 6 7 and 8 so as you can see 0 1 2 3 put those on the top of every page first page second page third page fourth page um, but when it comes to spring jump this is page 0 1 2 3 okay so I can get to any page by pressing one of the spring jumps after that you will need to arrange all your icons these are the icons you're going to leave out you're going to leave out all the category folders so home media apps games you're going to leave out those um, there's only certain icons for certain applications in the theme folder that you're going to get that you're going to be able to download so you have to have the certain ones you're going to leave out you're going to have extra apps, so put them in the folder that you want them to be under. So if you have, like, say for your, um, well, obviously you're going to have way more than just four games or three games on here. So you're going to put all your overstock of games um, in your games category. Same with everything else. So you're going to leave out on the home screen, you're going to leave out Safari, Contacts, Mail, settings for the next page you're going to leave out photos camera youtube and ipod for the next one you're going to leave out the app store winterboard facebook and cydia and then for the next one if you don't already have these you should download them just so that the theme will look right um, paper toss i shoot and install us and rolando 2 um, you can also download Nitro Cart 2, which will show up as a large icon here as well. And you need to leave out phone and messages and clock on the bottom dock. So, once you've done that, you should be alright for now. And check out my next video, guys.